This is a tutorial for the Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover texture properties. As you can see here, I've built three different light fixtures. And so when you click on a texture, you can come up here, click on Surface Properties, and you'll have a whole bunch of options to choose from. In the first light, I haven't done anything different. In the second light, I've made it unlit. And in the third light, I've made it special lit. And I have a light. And when you go into the properties of the light, you will see that special lit is true. Next up, I have a texture, which is a gradient texture. And you can see that I have a horizontal pan selected. The next texture here is basically glass, but then when you look at the properties, I made it a mirror. And then up here, I have a decal texture, which is unlit. Next up here, I made a ramp. And as you can see, I use the 2D shape editor. So I've got this little problem with my textures on the side. Then I took a smaller brush, which is the same texture as this one, but needs to be scaled. So you come up here, alignment, scale it down by half. Next up here, I have what's called a volumetric brush. So if I just click on the real-time preview, you can see it better. So there's the volumetric brush, which is non-solid. And the texture is from Fire Engine, and it's a torch texture. Next, I have this wall. which I put bright corners on. I put a floor with a texture that is high shadow detail. Create a little brush here, a little solid brush right there. And then up here you can see a skybox texture that is called fake backdrop. So the fake backdrop is your sky, but you would need to have a skybox in here, which will be a separate tutorial, but basically this thing here is called Sky Zone Info. So you need to have a Sky Zone Info in a separate room in order for this texture to appear. So let's see in the game how all of these textures look. Here is the regular texture with no special treatment. This one I set to unlit, so you can see how bright it is. The third one was called special lit. And as you remember, I had a light that was special lit. It was red. And so this texture appears reddish, whereas the room is not affected by that red light. Next, here is my gradient texture with a horizontal pan. And there's my mirror. Then the another unlit texture. And here you can see that I have a problem with the texture, so I need to fix that, and I'll show you what to do there. There's the smaller version of the same one over there, also unlit. And there's the volumetric brush with the torch texture. And 
and then here if you look at this wall you can see there's sort of this black shading around it from the light but this one I put bright corners on it and so it's totally clean and usually you wouldn't do that indoors you would most likely use this texture property for outdoor terrain and finally up above you can see that is the skybox that was a texture called fake backdrop and then the light that I put up there comes through this brush and creates a very highly defined shadow on the ground and that's called high shadow detail so last thing I need to fix is this ramp so we have these two textures here which are split because of the 2d shape editor first thing you need to do is align them to the wall and now as you can see it doesn't look so good because the ramp is slanted whereas the texture is perfectly horizontal so what you can do is you can take this one which is called texture rotate click on that hold down the control key and drag your left mouse until you see that you've got it pretty much parallel to the uh, ramp then switch over to this one which is called texture pan and then hold down the right mouse button and the control key and drag it until it's perfect like so so now you have a texture that you've tilted slightly to match the angle of the ramp so that looks a lot better the next tip I want to talk about is the use of texture packages so I'm taking a map like deck 16 as an example and what you'll find when you open up the official maps is that they tend to stick to very few texture packages so in the case of deck 16 you're going to find textures mainly from the UT Tech 2 and Decayed which is this one here So what you want to do when you build your map is try to reduce the number of texture packages that you need and uh, if if at all possible because the more texture packages you use the more that the player has to load onto their machine in memory while they're playing your map it's not going to be a big deal if you're playing this map by yourself but if the map is publicly released and you have let's say 8 or 16 players then it does make a difference so try to reduce the number of packages you use and then finally when you come over here to the console you can also type this command in which is called texture cull and what that'll do is it'll search your whole map and remove the textures that you're actually not using and so it'll also help a little bit to to optimize performance 